Hey everybody, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Oh, look at this mess here. Basically, somebody has tried to build themselves a computer and it's been several months of them trying and they have not been able to get this thing to post amongst other major issues here. This is how he brought this computer into me. So I'm just now looking at this for the first time. So I'm just having a look around. I mean, you can see the thermal paste on the processor. It's an AMD board, I know that. Nice motherboard, tough gaming. Uh, you can see the thermal paste on the CPU there. He's obviously been mounting a heat sink on it. I love the way the SSD there is mounted. That's, that's an incorrect mount there. The standoff is missing. That's an incorrect mount. You can see the dust on everything. And that is simply because more than likely this computer has been sitting for a long period of time. There's that thermal material sitting for a good while somewhere not working and he keeps going back to it trying to get it to work what's going on with that I mean we got pieces of stuff we've got a rat's nest here oh my goodness there you go huh it got me a nice rat's nest to work with he basically wants me to get this straight and figure out what's wrong with it all of the side panels are off. I mean, look, this is brought to me like this. I guess that's a fan controller. Front panel here. He's got the heat sink here. Antennas. Fans are just sitting up here. <laughs> oh, lovely. So I got to figure out First of all, if all of his parts are okay, he said he never got it to post. And uh, looking around at the RAM here, it's got some nice RAM there too. Um, that all looks like, well, that RAM stick isn't even sitting in there. Look at that. Wow. That's not even sitting in there. Um, actually, neither is this. Both of those RAM sticks, they're the notches. So RAM sticks aren't even sitting in, in there fully. But I got to test these parts and get this computer looking like something sweet. It's a Lee and Lee case. A pretty good case. He's left me with all this here. Well, no, I've got something else just sitting up here. It's a magnet. I don't know what that is. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyways, let's see. Let's see if I can get this guy to post. He's got a big mess here, man. It's just crazy. Now I'll worry about the fans later. Let's check his main hardware here. I'm gonna be sure his hardware is okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness gracious. Just have a look, will ya? Poor guy. He tried. He really did. Let me zoom in if I can see if I can get you uh, to look at this. Um, look at the screws that he used to mount this motherboard. You see that? What screw is that? He's got another one down here. Look at that motherboard screw mount here. Right here. What is that? Got some more up this way. I think he should have done a little bit more research before he started to build. Look at that. What are those? Let's take one of those out and have a look at that. Let me just take out this one. 
My, oh my goodness. Oh no. I think he's like stripped out his standoffs bad. Definitely. Let's see here. Let's see. Can't even get it out. Oh, the standoff is moving with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh no. He didn't do that. Yeah, he did that to all of them. See if I can get that out. He's cranked it down. He's cranked those things down, man. This is not good. Wow, I'm going to have to try to hopefully remove this board. I don't know if it's possible. I don't even know if it's, re if it's possible to move this board if those standoffs don't come out. Oh my God. So he's taken these larger screws and he's cranked them down onto the standoffs so tight that when you go to back them out, it unscrews the standoff from the case. And even when I try to get a pair of pliers on here to hold that tight and to unscrew it, it doesn't come out. I wonder if there's a standoff on this one. It might come out, man. I got to remove this board and have a look. Um, let's go ahead and remove this graphics card here. Hmm, looks like the graphics card was installed, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. These, these front panel headers down here are all in wrong. All wrong. I'm just hoping I can get this motherboard out. That's all I want to do. Okay, that came loose. Whoa. Look at the screws that he's trying to use. He didn't strip that out. Wow. Okay, that's loose. That's good. This is another one I'm worried about here. Come on. Okay, that's good news. That one came out. Wow. Mm, I think it did something. Nope. Standoff came out, but that's okay. We'll take that. Got one more. Come on, baby. Oh, man. I'll take these fans off. Good old dark rock screwdriver, or the good old be quiet dark rock screwdriver. That's going to give me a little bit more leverage, I think. Oh, yeah, it did too, baby. I think we got that one. Oh, he got so lucky. He got so lucky. Yep, the standoff came out of that one too. I think we're loose though. We are. Oh, he got lucky, man. So disconnect all of these cables. Those look like they were plugged in okay. Then we can lift out now. Oh, what was that? Oh my goodness. Why would you plug in a USB dongle when you didn't even... Okay, that was just the back plate. Wow. You can see how the memory there is seated. You can see that. This side too. Wow. Wow. And then, if you flip it over, yep. You can see the standoffs. Gonna have to get them off of there. Hope for the best that his parts are okay. We'll take a look to see how it's... Oh, no. Oh, no. I see something. Can you guys see this? Look at his processor. It's not even seated in there all the way. 
Can you see that? Let me turn this way. Can you see that? Oh, you can't quite see that. Let's try this. Ooh, a little closer. Look at there. Look at look at this right here. You can see that processor is not sitting down in there all the way. Oh no, I'm scared to see what that's going to look like when I pull it out. Wow, 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 wow. That'll be interesting. Ram, barely seated. Type of screws that he used. Oh my goodness. These are the type of motherboard screws, so. I mean, poor fella, you know, he, he tried. And computer building isn't for everybody. <sighs> so let's go ahead and have a look at his processor. Yeah, let's just hope that his, uh, turn it this way here. Let's just hope that his pins aren't bent. That's about all we can hope for. Because if they are, I don't know how you only have seated that in there. I'm a little concerned. But let's, let's take a look here. Oh, no. Bent pins. Yeah. Yeah, he's got bent pins, everybody. Right along here, bent. That's what I was scared of. Yeah, it's all along here. Several of them. Bent. Bent pins. Man. That's going to take some work. Okay, so here we are, a little closer, and the bent pins are right over here, one, two, three, four, five, six bent pins here on this, on this corner right here. But I'm pretty much going cross-eyed here trying to do this, to be honest with you. Mm, it did bend. Let's do this one one more time. It needs to be going that way. It's that one. Needs to go this way ever so slightly. Yeah, it bent. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Tough. So let me uh, clean this up a little bit. It's got some thermal material on it. I'm going to clean these pins up a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just going to use a uh, soft bristled toothbrush and a little bit of isopropyl. Kind of, kind of go over, over this a little bit and make sure it's dry. If I could just get them to go in the slots and the in the in the little holes, and then it'll it'll work itself out. I don't want to bend them too much. Make sure that's dry. We're gonna we're gonna pop that into the motherboard and uh, see if we can get it to kind of set into place. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it goes down into the proper holes there, the pins and you know they sometimes they'll bend they'll uh, those 
the holes where the pins go in the socket will help finish straightening out any small tiny indifferences here so let's do that now all right let's see how she sets in there now Ooh, wait a minute she sat right in there wait no oh, i got something going on there see there it popped right in that's what we wanted I don't have to do any more with those pins I got them close enough to where they fell into the proper holes there for the socket let's lock it down now that's perfect now I can clean that top off you see what kind of pro what processor this is this is a oh, Ryzen 5 3600 not bad. It'll work. Ryzen 5 3600. You know, so listen, I know that I have uh, these screws here to deal with that he put on here. And I've got to get those off. There's uh, one, two, three, three of them. But for now, I'm just going to make sure that this processor, memory, and video card work. Don't freak out. I'm going to just leave this existing stuff on this heat sink here. I'm not going to put nothing on there. All I want to do is see this thing post for a minute. It might be running a little hot, but it's not going to overheat by, the, by no means. If this posts, I will take the heat sink back off and I will apply proper thermal compound this on here there that is on there that is on there let's get this up on a box let's see if we can get let's go ahead I tell you what we can do this while we're here let's get the memory socketed right first of all I want to go back and use these uh, second slots. Let's pull this out. Oh my goodness, he didn't even have the slot lined up right here. It's terrible. Oh, another mistake. Turn it over this way. You're not going to get a post like that. No, sir. we go now the ram is properly seated and in the correct slots <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this one a box and we're getting ready to give this some power We are going to, let's see if we can fire this thing up here. Well, we got some lights, we got some fans spinning, we're waiting to see a post. Do we get a post? I see the fan, the CPU fans. CPU, it passes. Oh, 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 wait. I think I got a post. Wait a second. Oh, it would want. Look at there. That's what we wanted. 
Hey, I don't know what happened there, but I just powered it off and powered it on again and it posted. Let me get a, I mean, it's really all I need to see. So, very good. I think his parts are okay. I'm going to shut this thing down and I'm going to go ahead and put proper uh, thermal paste on the processor. And uh, hey, great news for him. His parts are okay. At least initially they seem to be. I would assume his power supply in his case is okay. I would only assume that, but we'll know that once I get it mounted in the board. I'm not going to go through all the trouble of removing the power supply from that Lian Lee case. Uh, a little bit, trying to save myself a little bit of work. So, I think we're in good shape. Let's continue. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.